Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss what is WebDriver Manager and how to use WebDriver Manager in Selenium. First, let us understand how WebDriver works in Selenium. Let's say, for example, this is our WebDriver. So, WebDriver is an interface. We know that, right? So, in, this is WebDriver. And let's say, for example, this is our browser. So it can be any browser. Let's say, for example, Chrome, Firefox, Edge. It can be any browser. So how does WebDriver communicate with the browser is? So we need to download the browser binaries for that. So till now, this is what we used to do, right? So there used to be some browser binaries, browser binary files, which we download from the Selenium website, right? So this, these are specific to the br uh, browser, right? So we, we used to have, like we used to download Chrome driver.exe, right? Geekcode driver.exe for Firefox, like that, right? So these are the browser binary files. So why do we need them is when we actually write the commands in WebDriver or write the code using WebDriver, right? So what happens is, so it those commands can't be directly, you know, executed on the browser. So there has to be some medium. So that is what the browser, browser binary files are. So the commands are converted to the binary, right? By these executables, by browser binary executables. And then that can be understood by the browser. And how does WebDriver communicate this with the browser binary files is using W3C WebDriver protocol. So, this is the protocol which WebDriver uses to communicate with the browser binary files, right? And then browser binaries knows how to communicate with the browser as this will be the native communication. So this is how WebDriver actually communicates with the browser. And if there is any response from the browser, so that will be actually, you know, sent back to the browser binary files and then from there to WebDriver, right? So this is how the communication happens in web, uh, you know, web driver in web driver in Selenium, right? So this is how web driver actually communicates with the browser. And the most uh, important part here is, so if you see this, these are the browser binary files, right? So these are very specific to the browser. So with uh, Chrome driver .exe for Chrome, Firefox driver .exe, we download it for, you know, uh, Geeko driver, right? Geeko driver .exe, we actually download it for Firefox and so on, right? Right, so what is the challenge here? So let's list down the challenges here. First, you need to download the exe files, right? So how do you download? Let me show you. So we navigate to the Selenium official website, downloads, and go to the browser. Say, for example, I wanted to download the Chrome binaries, right? So documentation, you see here, the latest all versions available in downloads. Okay, click on this downloads. Then we see the different versions of the Chrome driver uh, binaries here, right? So how do we actually know that? Which version to download? That we can, for that, we need to check the version of our browser. Let's say, for example, about Google Chrome. So you see my version here, right? So the matching version, we download it here, right? So this is the driver we used, we should actually download this driver, right? Then we act, this is, this is the first step, downloading the .exe file or the executable or browser binary files. So the next step will be setting it up, right? So we extract that and place it into some location and then we set up or set the property in the JVM parameters, right? So how do we do that? We used to do like this, right? System dot set property. For example, it is Chrome. So it is Chrome, Chrome dot. driver then here it, we used to write the path where we extracted the executable right same is the case for other browsers as well right so this will this is the second challenge and the third challenge is say for example my browser got updated then this this will no more work this executable or the browser binary will no more work right then what do we need to do we again need to go back to the you know, Selenium official website and you need to check the releases here, the latest driver you need to download. And then again, you need to set that in the path. 
right? You need to set that uh, property and you need to set that uh, path for that executable, right? So here we have the maintenance. This is another challenge, right? So we need to download the executable. We need to set it up and we need to maintenance. Maintenance when we do this, so when your browser gets updated, we need to repeat again all the three steps, right? So this is what we were doing till now. How about handling these three steps automatically, right? Then that will be like a, a real magic, right? So that's what WebDriver Manager does. So you have three steps here doing repeatedly, uh, repeatedly, right? So we are going to use WebDriver Manager so that what it does is it does these three steps automatically and you have zero maintenance. So it is going to solve all these three challenges. So how is it is going to do that? That's, that's what we are going to see now. So let me show you. So this is an example here you can see. WebDriver Manager demo is a class I created and this is how we, we set the para property rate for the Chrome, Chrome browser, right? So I have set it to the path executable, Chrome driver executable, right? And then I just created the web driver instance and instantiated to the Chrome driver class so that the Chrome browser gets launched. So let me execute and show you. Now see, the browser window got open, right? Fine, so this is how we used to do. Now, for this, what did we do? The first step was downloading this executable and uh, we extracted it and placed at this location. Right. Then we set this uh, property. Right. Then we are actually launching the browser. Right. So now, how to use the web driver manager to actually solve these challenges. Right. So just I'm just you know commenting that out, and then we use a class called web driver manager. So web driver manager is an API which actually handles the automation of this browser setup. And how do we do that is web driver manager is a class manager dot and we we have a different uh, you know methods in it so for that as web driver manager itself is an api we need to download that first so let me show you if your project is a maven project then go to maven repository and then type web driver manager here And you see here, io.github.bonegarixia.com, right? So just click on WebDriver Manager. You see the latest version. So you can click on the latest version. If you see a Maven project, just copy this. Click here, it will be copied to your clipboard. Then you can add this to your pom.xml if you are using the Maven project. What if you are use not using Maven project? For example, in our case, we are not using Maven project. So you, you can just download the jar file but there are some dependencies as well which we need for web driver manager to work so for that what we'll do is so go to google just type web driver manager dependency jar download and the first link you see jar download.com from here you can actually download all the dependent uh, jar files for web driver manager to work right so slowly scroll down and you see download web driver manager dot jar right 511 this is the latest version just click on this so we get a zip file with all the dependency jar files which are, uh, which are required for the web driver manager, right? So just wait for the complete uh, file to be downloaded. And then once it is downloaded, copy that zip file onto your driver's location where you have all the driver files for Selenium, right? So just take this file and I'm going to put it in my drivers. Extract this file. So these are called jar files, right? So you see here, number of jar files, right? So this is the actual web driver manager jar file. And these are all the dependency jars, which are required for the web driver manager to work, right? Now I'll just name this, rename this as web driver manager 511, right? So this is the folder where I have all the jar files required for web driver manager to work, right? 
Now we just need to add all these jars to our project. So how do I do? How do we do that? I am going to show you now. Just right click on your project, build path, configure build path, right? Add external jars. Click on add external jars to see drivers where wherever uh, you have extracted the all the jar files. So navigate to that location and just do control A, which selects all the files within this folder and just click on open. So all the jar files gets added to your project. Just click on apply, apply and close. That's all. All the jars got added to our project now. So remember, this is only when you don't have the Maven project. As ours is not a Maven project, we are adding like this. So once uh, we actually create the Maven project, I will actually show you there how to add the you know, dependencies or how do we actually add the WebDriver Manager to your pom.xml. Then we'll discuss uh, about that. But for now, as we, we are not using Maven project, we are adding all the dependent jar files for WebDriver Manager to work that we added to our build path, to our project, right? All right. Now we can use the WebDriver Manager class. WebDriver Manager dot. Now, say for example, I wanted to work with Chrome. Just type Chrome driver dot setup is the method we need to use. That's it. This just replaces, you know, all these three steps. So for example, let's first actually execute this. Then we'll see. See, I just executed the code now with the two lines. Now it should actually launch the Chrome browser. Let's see that. So what happens for the first time is uh, WebDriver Manager, it actually, what it does is uh, in order to, uh, you know, resolve all these challenges, it downloads the exe file, which actually is compatible or matches with your Chrome browser and your platform, keeps it in the cache, and then, you know, it actually sets the property internally, right? So this is what happens. And you can see the browser got launched, right? And you might be worrying, uh, I need to download the jars and add it to the project path, project build path, right? But that is one time, one time job. And once you use this line, which replaces the system dot set property, this one, right? So you don't need to worry about, uh, you know, downloading the latest uh, uh, driver and setting it in the path. So just this line replaces the code of, uh, uh, you know, code or, you know, the effort of downloading the executable, which matches with your current version of your browser and, you know, setting the property and setting the path of your executable, right? So with this, you can just launch the, with just this line, you can just launch any other browser as well. Say for example, I wanted to launch other browser. Say for example, I wanted to launch Firefox driver, Firefox driver dot setup. That's it. As web driver, you know, driver here is an uh, uh, object of web driver interface. So I can use it to instantiate other uh, browser driver as well. So I'll just use Firefox driver here. And also let's launch Edge driver as well. Now you can see, so the three browsers should get open, right? So Chrome got open and you can see Firefox open, then Edge browser has to be launched. Okay, there seems to be some error. Let's see, okay, Edge driver. Okay. This is fine. We haven't actually set the use the web driver manager for the browser edge, right? So web driver manager dot edge driver dot setup. So this method has to be used. So once we use this, so this web driver manager will take care of uh, downloading the executable and setting that in the path, right? Then we can 
actually launch the browser like this. So let me execute the code again and show you. So it has to launch three browsers. So it just launches the Chrome browser first. Then it has to, uh, you know, open Firefox server, then launch the Edge, Edge browser. Yeah, you can see now it opened Chrome browser, Firefox browser, and it opened Edge browser as well, right? So no errors this time. Like this, we can actually work with other browsers as well. Web driver manager. Let's see what are the other browser supported web, web driver manager. Dot this type driver. You can see here the list of drivers supported by web driver manager. Chrome driver, we have already seen, you know, Chromium driver, Edge. Firefox, IE, Opera, Safari, or the other browsers which are supported by the Web Driver Manager API, right? So you can use, uh, you know, uh, Web Driver Manager to launch all these drivers. So you can see here in this video, what did we discuss? We discussed the challenges of, uh, you know, the traditional way of downloading the browser binary, setting it up, and, you know, maintaining that uh, executable as uh, the browser gets updated. We again need to download the executable and you know, rewrite the property or rewrite the path of the executable, right? So this challenges, we actually overcome using WebDriver Manager API, right? So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.